Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Corley and today we're going to do a first impressions slash review slash wear test on the Too Faced Born This Way kind of line. We're going to try out the Born This Way Luminous Oil Free Undetectable Medium to Full Coverage Foundation by Too Faced. This box is so pretty by the way. And we're also going to try out the Too Faced Born This Way Super Coverage Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer right here. So um, this one came out very recently and what triggered me to try out this one is the fact that Jackie Ina recently collaborated in a way with Too Faced so that they could release more shades of this foundation and that just goes out to show to brands that um, often when customers see that they're making an effort really to truly care about inclusivity and just make sure everyone can find something that will fit them. Um, it just encourages the customer to buy and my shade isn't even one of the new shades it's just I thought that you know like you can support Too Faced when they do something like that this foundation is in the shade Sam and the concealer which recently came out like really really recently like probably like last week or something this is in the shade natural beige I'm gonna read you some basic information about the Too Faced Born This Way foundation and the Too Faced Born This Way full coverage concealer but before if you guys want to see how I achieve this look then please by all means just click right here I, I'm never sure just click right here where I have the um makeup tutorial on this look which I'm not done with yet but you know it's also not gonna be uploaded before this so it's gonna take a little bit of time before you can see it but yeah the Too Faced Born This Way foundation is one ounce 30 mils and um let me show you this is what it looks like and it retails for $49 Canadian <laughs> that took me a while sorry it's $49 Canadian and it comes with a pump really pretty frosted glass packaging feels pretty heavy so you know it's dirty and um Honestly, I just think this is so pretty. So, you know, we got this. So, um, on the foundation, I believe we have 35 shades available in this, ranging from the fairest, which is cloud, to the darkest, which is ganache. And um, thanks to Jackie Aina, they really made sure they had a full, 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 full range. My shade is sand. It's somewhere in the middle so um yeah let me read you some things about this foundation so they say that this foundation can be full coverage the skin type is normal dry combination and oily which means it's all skin types the finish is radiant and it's an oil-free medium to full coverage natural looking radiant foundation uh what it does according to sephora get full undetectable coverage with born this way foundation it's infused coconut water to help rep replenish sorry the skin's moisture levels without over hydrating it's also enriched with the resilient alpine rose to brighten your skin's appearance and promote elasticity hopefully that's how you say that word while hyaluronic acid provides long-lasting skin balancing hydration for a smoother more youthful appearance this is formulated without parabens sulfates or phthalates so See, they don't have the, too many bad ingredients. What else you need to know? The product is vegan and cruelty free. It holds, let me tell you, it holds a, where's the rating? Uh, where's the general rating? It holds a 3.8 rating on Sephora, which is, it's not the highest, but it's almost four. So it's pretty good. Um, so this is it for the foundation. Then I have the concealer. Did I pull up? Yes, I did. See how organized I am? I put up all this information. So this is the Born This Way Super Coverage Multi-Use Coating Concealer. It has 0.5 ounces, which this is half a foundation. To give you an example, by the way, this retails for $36. It's 15 mils, half an ounce. To give you an example, the NARS Creamy Radiant Concealer, it's 6 mils and it's 37 Canadian dollars which this is a really good value. It's um, It kind of remind me, reminds me of the Shape Tape, not that I own Shape Tape, but this is a, um, you see how they say multi-use concealer, it's a sculpting, they say contouring and all of that, and Tarte Shape Tape kind of had the same vibe to it. The doe foot applicator is also like fat, like this is a fat doe foot applicator, so it kind of reminds me of Tarte Shape Tape in that way. So let me read you what it is. 
It's a hydrating full coverage weightless four-in-one formula that conceals, contours, highlights, and retouches. What it does, this hydrating buildable multitasking concealer masks imperfections, smooths, and sculpts skin for natural looking coverage. It's infused with coconut water, alpine rose, and hyaluronic acid. Skin loving ingredients that come together for crease free weightless wear that's so naturally flawless they'll think you were born this way. <laughs> I love these descriptions, so good. This is also formulated without parabens, sulfates, or phthalates. So this is gone soon. And um, what else we need to know is Born This Way Super Coverage Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer is available in 20 versatile shades. Its doe foot applicator allows for perfectly precise application. The weightless formula hydrates skin so it never it's so it's never dry or cakey. It's non-comedogenic, photo-friendly, and flashback free. Ooh and wears up to 12 hours. So today we're gonna do maybe not a that long wear test, but this concealer is super cute by the way, and it's so big. I think this is probably, without even trying this, I think it's a great value for your money because this is a lot of product. Um, so it, it has a 4.5 star rating on Sephora, but it only has 107 reviews compared to the Born This Way Foundation, which has around 6K reviews. So, you know, 4.5 star rating. The girls at Sephora were telling me how this was almost like a shape tape, but more hydrating. So if that's something you're looking into or concealer, you know, like you got it. Without further ado, let's get it poppin'. So I watched Jackie Ina's video where she demoed the application for oily skin. And since I have oily skin, I'm gonna kind of follow the, um, gonna kind of follow the tips she gave. So I'm gonna use this Benefit the Professional. This is my favorite primer, and what I realized is that this is a smoothing primer, and this foundation is also smoothing, so it's not a water-based foundation, it's more of a, it's more of a like silicone-based, but it's not, I don't know if it's silicone-based, but it has a smoothing effect. This also has a smoothing effect, so I feel like mixing these two can work really well. So I'm just gonna apply the Professional um, wherever I feel it is needed, you know? This is, I use this with every foundation also, so I know how it works, I know how it performs. Also, I don't know if you guys can see on the camera, but I have little like bumps on my skin and um, we call them in French, we call them bouton de chaleur. Usually happens to children, I'm a child, so you know, but it's because of the intense heat that's been going on, my skin is reacting weirdly to it, so it, I kind of have a little bit of texture. It's not, it was, yesterday it was way worse, by the way, but um, I don't think you can see it on camera, but just thought I'd throw that out there, just if you guys were wondering. Like Jackie, I'm gonna set my primer using the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder. This is in the shade 20, light medium. To set, I'm just, I'm gonna use the of my beauty blender and just, gonna set this primer. She says it offers for matte, matter finish longer, but it also just, I don't know, I trust Jackie. If she, if she says it's gonna do good, like it's gonna do good. And I've set my primer before. So I'm just gonna powder all the areas that are very oily in my skin. I'm gonna take the foundation. This Jackie said to use one pump and one pump would be enough. However, she used the brush and I'm using a beauty blender, so I'm gonna start with one pump, but then I'm gonna see. So, um, I'm just gonna take this. It's probably gonna take some while to pump out, I don't know. So this is what it looks like. This is also like a really good match, I think, I hope. So, um, yeah, let me just... Oh yeah, this is a really good match. Ooh, I'm happy. So happy the match is good. Because you know, sometimes you'll be doing things and it's literally not like a match whatsoever. Oh wow. Oh wow. Do you guys see this? Oh, this is pretty. Oh, I like this. I mean, of course, upon application, a lot of things can look pretty, but then not translate that way um, throughout the day. So I'm not gonna do anything major as far as um, like wear test. Like I'm not gonna do like a 15 hour wear test, probably six hours or something like that, just to give you guys some first impressions on the product. I try not to put too much foundation ever under my eyes because I always put concealer there anyway. So you don't want it to 
don't want to over layer and then just everything looking cakey so i'm gonna take a tiny little bit and i'm just gonna clean up right around my brows i always do this like always so you know so we've got this base and honestly for what from what i can tell you right now my skin's looking smooth it's looking covered like just the way i want it i'm a full coverage type of person so sometimes maybe i miss spots a little bit but full cup i love full coverage okay i'm definitely good for full coverage now we're gonna try out the Too Faced born this way multi-sculpting multi-use sculpting concealer <laughs> my eyes look like a butterfly don't they anyways moving on so my color is natural beige yes and this is a fat applicator i don't think i'll have to like dip once more like just gonna put it on the it's also like a good highlight shade too so i'm just gonna put it on the main points of my face it has okay and now you can see the tip with the applicator the tip it's like a how do you call it in english it's like diamond low-key shape like it's kind of shaped like a diamond it did like a like this shape this is kind of the applicator shape so what I'm gonna do right now is I'm just gonna blend it out. I kind of let it sit on my face because I was trying to fix camera issues and everything. This is gonna... Oh yeah, it does have some coverage to it, clearly. Maybe I could use like a shade that was in between this one and the next darker shade, but this one is really doing fine. Like I was kind of scared it was gonna be too light or something, but it's really nice. By the way, this was a fresh beauty blender. She's not so fresh no more, but I bought it yesterday, so. This looks very promising so far. I always set my concealer kind of right away because I am Crease City. That's, the, yes, it's my name, Crease City. Crease City. So I'm gonna powder it using the same powder we used to powder down. It's a relatively like luminous. I don't know if you can see it. Yes, you can, like the dew. But like right here but um it's it's kind of luminous so no just be careful of that we'll see if it creases uh, to be honest with you at the end of the day no matter what concealer i use i still kind of crease like i won't crease some concealers i will like crease major but some i won't we set the under eye, I've melted the powder. What I'm gonna do now is my oily zones are like the sides of my nose. Like right here, like... This looks really weird. I'm not contouring by the way, like... Well, maybe it gives the illusion and everything, but... Oh no, this does not give no illusion, like... I powder my nose just because... You see how much powder I have on it? It's because my nose gets really oily. I also get really bad like smile lines, creases. But the thing with these is that I never, like I haven't found foundation that doesn't give me at the end of the day smile line creases. I'm a very expressive person and it just comes with that, you know? Um, okay, so this is basically it. I'm not gonna add any foundation powder today because I want the coverage to stay the coverage of this foundation. I might just set the rest of it with my translucent powder just to you know ensure because i hate when my foundation is not like set it freaks me out because listen not all of us have can have like dewy foundation all day and not literally die and it's so hot too but i always set my foundations like these so i'm giving it the same treatment i always do with every single one of my foundations and um, basically what I'm going to do is finish up my face and I will be right back for, well not right back, I'll be back for his first check-in throughout the day. Hi guys, so I took the wig off because the heat is literally unbearable, but it's been about six hours and I don't think I'm going to do a check-in for longer than that because I have to go wash my hair. Like, it's a mess, quite clearly. So, um... As you can see right here, I do have a little bit of creasing in my smile lines. Like I told you, this is pretty standard for me. Um, I don't, I've never had a foundation that didn't crease. 
and in my smile lines and so um that's kind of become the norm for me i don't mind they show that i'm happy i'm expressive and all of that so as you can see just a little by looking at it you can see a little bit of creasing here um uh, for the concealer um how am i gonna show you this there's literally no creasing under my eyes nothing has settled in my fine lines and made like thick white lines you know sometimes how it just like settles in your fine lines and you're just like jesus pull me out of this one so it's holding up pretty well like the rest of my makeup to be honest my forehead it looks great it has a natural it's not completely matte around here but it's kept the shine down pretty well and just looks not even lived in it just looks so natural and so like skin like and the shade is spot on so um my verdict on these two products is that i really 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 like them and um by the time i will have uploaded this video i will have worn it a bunch of times therefore i would have had analyzed it a little more so i can give you my thoughts in the description box down below so just like look out for that so um this is basically it guys if you like this video don't forget to give it's a thumbs up also if you like me and my personality or the content i put <laughs> right up on youtube then feel free to subscribe to this channel where we always love to be more here we love newcomers newcomers tend to like us too so you know just, just join and everything don't forget to follow me on all my social media such as instagram snapchat and twitter i have all the links in the description box down below you should also put your notifications on so you don't miss any uploads because sometimes youtube gets a little funny with the uploads and they don't necessarily show it on your subscription feed so if you have my notifications you will not miss one video i tell you that all right so again guys thank you so much for watching this video i truly appreciate it and we'll see you in my next one bye bye